goes there. Wait, hear that? I smell it. Ghouls. Necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Things gonna fall out like an almost Every about this I knew, couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood. <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. No, they eat the living as well. No, really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirn are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. I think really. I hate these things. It's gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail? Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone?
Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Sol one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, I'll use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Faster. So, the griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Come on, Roach. Come on. Of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Law's freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. <clears throat> Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes. Dresses in black and white. Riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, Lilac and gooseberries. Might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. 
Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Show me what you got behind the counter. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in war. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm hmm. Just remember. We'd rather not draw any attention. Black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the heart. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If his company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Running low on patience. Once it's gone, your heads will roll. Oh, we was jesting. No call for anger. See a raven haired woman here, dressed in black and white? We know nothing, sir. Leave us be. There are four factions. Oh, what a waste of time. The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. War 
war reached Novigrad yet? Nope, but it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Uh -huh. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I have a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Gotta go. So long. Um, no, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's...
If you ever find yourself in Ox... I'll remember that. Thanks. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirit. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night, black and white, gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. See you later, Vesemir. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Run, Roach. What happened to your mind? Let me a hand in the orchard. Go ahead, 
trees need to be right across what do me. I? It's Durban now. D E R V A N. Not going to uh. Watch what you want. May the sun shine upon you. Very glad. The good news boy knows the nature of travel to North Guard once. Oh, the strange things we saw. Yeah? What thing? Last time I lent out an event, I swear it. Run, Roach. Let's go. Whoa there, Roach. Move it. your weapon. Run, Roach. There, there. Put it down. The plague! shall guide us straight to Novigrad. Ah! And Medetta, 
استرات اسد رو میبرم Kings do the fighting, but peasants do the dying. Gloire in ard fien. May the sun shine. Good day, yeah. Good day. Yes. Wish to enlist, Nordling. shall guide us straight to Novigrad. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Goltais Griffin is Arda. Epudorp. Ne. Epstreda. Masandian Kardan. Es disse Rima. Nord es Ushaid and Rima. Requisition the share of your harvest. I know something. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walkie, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well. Show me where you're battling. I'd like you to craft something for me.
Morel holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble. Neither. Just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? So long. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it. And I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the elderman and the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mizlov. Thanks. As soon the actor.
Stop! Run, Roach. Too far afield, this.
area. forth. Gideon. Time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets that... Red Bloom? Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking. A few years ago, we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar... something, something. Ah, oh, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time.